everybody welcome back to my channel happy new year if you're this is the first video you're seeing from me in the new year hey welcome back happy new year happy 2019 sorry these videos are getting up late i wanted to enjoy my new year's and the rest of december and jump into this i am gonna be pre-filming a bunch of videos so you'll will see me in this top for a few videos so don't mind that it'll be fine it'll be fine it'll all work out but in this video I'm gonna show you the flip through of my 2018 planner um, and all the spreads that I did so just keep watching if you want to see that hi everybody welcome back this is gonna be the planner planner flip through portion of the video so on my cover of my planner which I chose this is the stylish planners cover which I probably mentioned in a video but yes um, let me just flip this open this is what the cover and the back cover look like together I loved it I love the look of peonies and how it can be interchangeable and if I choose to interchange it for more than one year it'll be great but currently right now 2018 covers and my planning style have changed and you may see that throughout this video so as I probably mentioned in the first video of last year I would chose to pick up a recollection planner I picked up the one that says today is the day this was a beautiful gold this part is gold cover and I do love it so on the inside is this beautiful floral this is this is my year for 2018 with the yearly overview then I didn't use the important dates or important contacts um, I used the before pages as you can tell she is a thick mama um, as an overview of the month let's zoom you in just a tid a bit so I this is setup is from caress press um, it was mostly made for the Erin Condor but this was the first month of the year so people were still changing and getting used to it so it says notes at the top she has a bar for notes and then I picked books to read movies to watch health and fitness which didn't end up working out as you can tell um, things to do this month I put in write resolutions work on travelers notebook and the PVC sale books I read this month when breath becomes air I was supposed to read the book thief I read wishful drinking and I read the scorch trials and I was supposed to go see the greatest showman which I saw twice the death care and the post which I did not um, it came with habit a few habit trackers so I tried to track my spending and tried to track taking my vitamins projects I wanted to do is have a severe cleaning day and document the work or was cleaning day for my old job yes but document my work because I was changing jobs memories are having a girls day with my bestie Brandy one of my besties and starting a new job which I will talk about later which didn't start there but I got the notice that I was starting um next month starting my new job camp work stuff and then work on budgeting so as we flip to January this is the January spread I love traveling so this was a traveling transition spread um I love the planes and stuff Thought it was super cute so you have your data block of the month new year's day which i also use a huge square because that's just big in asian families to like do family stuff over there um and i tried to use this as kind of like a highlight for the month i had a lot of interviews doing basic things like going to doctors dentist cleanup days the creating and co book club challenge which i put when i finished the book so a book said in the past i put in when breath becomes air and wishful drinking because those were two books set in the past um bill dues who i stopped documenting when i needed to change the vacuum um 
I put in the Paper and Glam Book Club because I actually got to watch that one live. Um, and yes, so this one part I chose over here is the three resolution section. Otherwise, you could do your just the date cover boxes. So my three main resolutions for 2018 were to read 52 books, lose a little bit of weight, and to finish three projects. I only finished two, I believe. Um, these were some things I tried to work on this month. So spreads planned for the month, blog posts, videos to film, and other videos because this box wasn't enough. So this is my first spread of the new year of 2018. It was a full week and I used a horizontal kit from Creating and Co because I was transitioning. So um, the first was a lot of spending time with the family. Um, I got my last Kinley Doodles box order. I love these um, foiled stickers by Creating and Co. This one says let it snow. This one says stay cozy super cute. Matt and I saw a greatest showman here on the first day. Um, I also binge watch a lot of TV during this day. Um, yes. I'm trying to document random things. Um, yeah. Just a lot of finishing of books and reading of books and borrowing of books here this is the shop jessica hearts girl on the go kit um this was her wanderer less kit i use a lot of kits this year which are very old and i'm sorry that you can't get them anymore um i had my assistant at the old job working full time i finished two books this week but i think i only finished one um more interviews this week and jobs and i was feeling a little sick so i had a medicine ball several medicine balls this week um we went to cpk i had a tooth filling done yes oh and then i hung out with brandy this day and had family dinner yay um i think I think this was an older Samantha May Sticks kit, um, but I don't know. I found just a, this random kit in my collection and it looked like it was for the horizontal planner. So I added some boxes that I found and just made it into a really beautiful kit. Um, what happened this week that was really good? I was binging Netflix a lot. There's ants everywhere. Um, I had a day off because it was Martin Luther King Day. And... Else? I was prepping. I had my car die after a meeting, which was kind of embarrassing. I probably also filmed that day. And there was a car wash. Yay. Then... This is a giraffe on skates kit, which I loved also. I thought I loved the florals when I bought it. Uh, what else? Oh, I was binging Ghostbusters, the TV show. Well, the cartoon. I was still reading a lot. Um, this was where I watched the paper on Glam Book Club Live for the first time. Um, I think this was the PBC sale and this was also X Games weekend. So I was watching a lot of X Games. And I think I was also trying to binge Burn Notice but I didn't quite make it because that was about to leave Netflix. Um, for February, I used a kit by Creating & Co for February. Um, the circles were for the Erin Condren, so my quote is, um, when I changed jobs, my student worker said, so there's 10 more days in February, um, and it was toward the end of the month, so, so it was kind of funny. 
Um, that was a new job. There was Olympics. Goal for that month was to complete two projects, which I probably didn't, and I did a lot of reading and or organizing. So in this planner layout, she included um, planner layouts, which you can keep track of. So I had TNC Readathon, Pretty on Paper Co, Joy, and a Harry Potter one. I reached 100 subscribers on YouTube, yay! Uh, and I was going to try and do 30 days of yoga, which I kind of failed. Yay! So this is the monthly kit, which is also by Creating and Co. I love the florals and this buffalo check over here. I love that she had this monthly overview for the next month and that these book club stickers were really helpful. So it it was readathon month. See you. Um, this was a pretty on paper co kit. Um, so super cute. Still trying to binge burn notice. Um, this is a um Matt ended up in the hospital for a long time with something serious but not that serious so he was still in the hospital here we thought he was getting out sooner but he didn't um, what else uh nacho fries made an appearance in February and there was lots of rain on Super Bowl weekend then this oh this was a soda pop studios paper kit so it was also another kit made for the horizontal or personal for my e5 rings so i bought it and stored it and i just kind of made it work so there was a lot of meshing together there was a lot of pull rain over here and I had to walk back in the rain um this was the last couple of big meetings for my old job so there was lots of documenting that uh what else and there was the olympics so the figure skating was here and there was snowboarding and snowboarding yeah tried to film a lot of videos too this was my harry potter week because Harry Potter means a lot to me and my friends, so I did a poll on my Instagram and on my Facebook page for what kit I should use for my final days, and they chose Harry Potter unanimously. Like, there was one person that chose friends or who said it was a toss-up. So this is a kit from Simply Watercolor Coal. Um, there is a ton of foil in here, but you can see bits and pieces of, so, but yes, I absolutely loved it. Um, this is also where I started, got a few wonton and a million orders. Um, this one was for, um, cause it was the year of the dog. So Chinese New Year. So I did some Chinese New Year's things. Um, but yeah, just the last week at my old job. And then I transferred to the new job the next week. But yeah, sad times. Good. It all worked out. Well, um, this was Creating and Co's Readathon kit. Um, I know she's she called it the Enchantathon. She's calling it the Enchantathon this year also. I think it's around the same time. And yeah, I really enjoyed it. I'm glad I did it. I love her little characters. Um, but it was also a crazy week. I also tried to vlog this week. I don't know if it turned out really great though. But you can watch that. Um, so yeah tried to read the royal we wonder woman heartless night circus i think that was only four books this week but yes did not turn out well uh yeah i think that was the main thing of this week oh and matt and i saw black panther this week which was amazing um this monthly notes page kit is from uh, Shop Jessica Hearts. So I tried to use the same things on the top in the bubbles. So quote, um, my mother said, I might not know what Doritos taste like when we were talking about Doritos and there was fake Doritos. 
faux Doritos at Costco and how it was supposed to taste different. I reached 111 subscribers, but didn't last. Um, I tried to tell myself to get your life together because it was kind of a mess because I was changing jobs and things. But yes, um, and to read two books and to schedule all the videos. Um, so I made a list of books I wanted to read, Into the Water, The Secret, The Kill Order, The Night Circus, and Dirty Rush. Uh, I did read a chunk of books, finances pay down, buy an A6TN, do more yoga. And then this month were a wedding, Easter, St. Patrick's Day, and then I tried to keep track of my spreads. For new beginnings, I read for the Creating Co. Book Club. Um, I counted the Night Circus and Dirty Rush. So the monthly spread is also by Shop Jessica Hartz. I love this script and I love her quotes. This one says, do all things with kindness. But yes, I find that her boxes are a little bit big. So this spread looks a little cluttered. I also was trying to use it as like a monthly memory planner. So I tried to take notes of like one thing that happened per day that was kind of big and exciting so there's that um i'm trying to think of where this kid is from and i honestly don't remember where this kid is from but i like the florals but when i was using it i found this part a little overwhelming so yeah i probably wouldn't buy this kit again but i did enjoy it but using it was a little overwhelming um yeah i just found myself reading a lot bill pay week yeah noting that this was an xo mama plans kit i didn't um i bought her two page kit and then this washi is from target and i just thought it matched really well um you can buy the, the bottom washi with her kits but and that is an option but i just enjoyed this and adding other things to it um yes and these currently reading stickers are were from creating and co there's a lot of creating and co in my spreads i miss her little character oscar but i'm sure i will pick up x go x her, her dog character expo at some point had a lot of movie nights with Matt so there was comedians or maybe I was watching this on my own sorry Matt so there was comedians in cars getting cars with coffee uh, oh no I did hang out with Matt this day because we went to go buy the wedding present and then the wedding was the next day and we watched some more comedians in cars getting coffee. Um, there was a birthday here. That was my coworker's birthday who made the funny saying, there's like 20 more days. He was trying to count till his birthday. Um, and love season three. I binged watch all of that show very quickly and I loved it. Um, this was another Shop Jessica Hearts kit, which I mainly bought for this dog. Um, I might have done a spread on this. I'm not totally positive. I didn't actually do a lot of Plan With Me videos this year, but yes, I was still planning. Uh, yeah, I loved it. Had a lot of lazy days, a lot of back planning. I did e-cycling, hoped mom and dad. Yeah, boring stuff. And jury duty, so yes, this was jury duty week. So I feel like this, this was a kit from Simply Ginger Co, which I found from Amanda from My Life Stuck on Paper because after she used this kit in a spread I totally wanted to use it so um and it wasn't gonna get here in February and I had all those spreads planned but I thought that it would look really cute in March because of the love box and because of green but it got here pretty fast too so I did enjoy it and I loved it and I love the colors of this kit 
super pretty. Nothing exciting happened. Oh, I went to Walmart and picked up some Time and True stuff. There was Dave and Buster's. We watched Love, Simon. Uh, jury Duty, which I almost got picked for but didn't. More binge watching of shows, but yeah. Why don't I eat tacos? And Yankee. Hmm. I don't remember. Oh, so Easter week. Um, this is a kit by Scribble Prince Co. I mostly bought it because of this bunny and that reminds me of lilac and then there's a chocolate bunny over here this was a super cute kit i hate that you can see the lines at the bottom of the spread on this part because the um, paper's a little thin and kind of glossy but you can see the lines and i didn't have the heart to white it out but yes um i talk about buying going to nordstrom rack Binge watching Haley and Bookland and Ash of Dash, watching Ready Player One, and going to Buffalo Wild Wings. And yeah. Oh, and I had a day off because it was Prince Kuhio Day. Only in Hawaii. Um, this was a notes page kit from very old from Creating and Co. So I did the planner layout spreads, bills to pay. Uh notes I put in the debut author challenge which we started picking books for in the Crane Co book club group and they picked Wicked Deep. Easter was this month, Brandy's birthday. Or was Easter then? Oh yeah, Easter was the first which is kind of funny. Um, I read a bunch of books, Piece of Cake by Cupcake Brown, To All the Boys I Loved Before and I I think I listed Wicked Deep, but I didn't read it until later. And then it says breaking out like it's 1999 because we did a breakout room and it was 1999 themed or 2000 theme. I forget what this quote is from, but I think it's from Wicked Deep. Um, so this is a monthly kit by Shop, no, Creating & Co, I think, or Shop Jessica Hearts. I think it's Shop Jessica Hearts from the looks of it because the boxes are a little big and this looks like Shop Jessica Hearts text. Yeah, this is Shop Jessica Hearts. Um, but I do love her scripts and more memory planning monthly overview spreads. Um, I made a note over here that Senator Akaka died and passed away that day, which was sad. And Uncle Clay's on Moana opened. Yay. I also did my first thrift books order, which mainly books from my dad, which is probably why I was watching Ash of Dash a lot. Um, this I had, uh, yes. So this is a, a very, very old kit from Scribble Prince Co. when she was doing like glitter spreads-ish things. So I pulled it out and I decided to use it. Also, she was doing monthly colors. So this is it. I mixed in some print pression stickers because I had gotten that box and decided to mix it with it because the colors were beautiful and lovely. So yes. Um, did anything else exciting happen this week? Mm. Oh yeah, we talk about Uncle Clay's on Moana. Yes, camp wrap up meeting. Thrift books order. Two little bees order. Yeah, that's about it. Um, this is the print impressions kit that came with the box that I ordered to get my A6, which I totally am grateful for and I loved it. It was definitely my wonderful on the go planner this year, which I loved a lot. Oh, I did borrow a bunch of books, which I never got around to reading. Uh, finished a 30 days of list kit binge watched a lot of shows and felt oh this was a time I felt sick 
sucks. Oh, and I finished two shadows this week, which was probably what I finished off or something. Um, this was a very old kit. I believe it was called, the shop was called Sponsored by Coffee. She's closed currently, so you can't get kits from her anymore. She's still kind of plans, but not really. But yes, I had hoarded this kit for a very long time and thought it was really cute. Um, I also put in the Scandal series finale, which didn't really match. We went to Taco Zerates. I think this was one of the last times. Yeah. Loved it, loved it, loved it. Um, this was the week of Avengers Infinity War came out. This was a kit by Creating & Co. So I mixed in some of Avenger stickers, which I had from a long time ago. I got to attend the premiere with Matt and love that. Um, yeah, that was the big thing this week. Oh, and going to the breakout room. Yay. Um, this monthly overview was by Shop Jessica Hearts. Uh, so I think yeah marking getting stuff together setting up my harry potter tn was supposed to read alice's adventures in wonderland red when dimple red rishi the monkey pottery ps i still love you and simon versus the homo sapiens agenda which i did finish reading but probably not in may um there was brandy's graduation this month and mother's day and my mom's birthday so this is the monthly overview kit by creep Eating and co. I thought the sunflowers were lovely and very sunny and bright. Um, so there was a grad party at work. I went to see my doctor, which is very, very kind of annoying and boring. Um, there was another birthday, there was graduation, there was Mother's Day. Um, I went to So I have check-in. Oh no, this was pay for planner play date, but the planner play date was here. I had to go to my cousin's graduation. I had to get a mammogram. My mom's birthday was here. My parents went to Vegas. Yes. Um, and the book I read was something set in my state. So that was Lord of the Deep for the Creating a Cope book club. Um, this was a very old Scribble Prince Co. kit. I think it was called like hashtag selfie or something like that. I'm trying to keep an eye on the time because I believe this video is going to be very long. So yes, trying to hurry it up. There was a bunch of munchkins in here. But yes. Very, very trying to work out again. It didn't work out. Yeah. Um, this was a kit from Pretty on Paper Go. This was her Mother's Day kit, which also had a paper clip come with it, which I was one of the lucky few that got it. Um, my friend came to visit me at work. We hung out a bit. Uh, my iPod, eye touch died, died. So that was sucky. Um, I finished Magic School Buzz. Uh, we had, my friend came to visit me again and we had lunch. Um, there was Jacob's, Matt's friend's Jacob's graduation from junior college here, Brandy's graduation here, and then her grad party, and then Mother's Day brunch in Nico's. Um, I decided to use the superhero kit again because I had lots of extras with it, so, and I thought it was very fitting. Uh, I don't know. Mm, did anything good happen this week? Oh, the royal wedding was this week. I tried to stay up for that. That did not happen at all. I actually think, wasn't it Thursday night or something? Early Friday morning, but that, I didn't quite make it anyway or it was into Saturday. I don't know. Mm, 
Oh, we, Matt and I played Sushi Go. That's about it. Um, this was when the Han Solo A Star Wars Story movie was coming out. So I used this kit from Pity on Paper Co. I really do love this artwork. And I hope they come up with more. So yes, I love how she used this artwork also. Um... So I drank a Vietnamese iced coffee. I do love this ice, co this coffee Monday stickers, and I don't remember who it's from, but here. Um, so if anybody can tell me who that coffee. Okay, so my camera so rudely cut me off because I'm only allowed to cut, cut for 30 minutes or so. But yes, we were talking about this coffee Monday sticker. So if anybody can tell me who that coffee Monday sticker is from. I will be super grateful. So, in other news, uh, yes, um, Matt and I watched one of the Ali Wong specials. We still need to watch the other one. Um, my cousin's graduation was this day, so I had to hurry out there. Um, I watched 13 Reasons Why season two. I went to the Aloha for Planners crop and yeah, just had a chill lovely day um this was a kit from shop jessica harsh which you can probably tell is one of my favorite shops um so my mom's birthday was here we went to a place called takumi's when they came back from their trip um i got my stylish potter's order which was this cover i think i was supposed to go to trivia night but that didn't end up happening. Uh, what else happened this week? Not a whole lot. Oh, there was the graduation party and Matt's friend Danny's birthday. We got to bounce, go into a bounce house this day, which was fun. Yay, yay, yay. This monthly overview kit was from Pretty. No, it's from Creating and Co loved it because it had the ocean and stuff this sticker is from paper and glam because tiny beautiful things was a book club read like two years ago i love this currently thing um just for reference so reading this month i would... why did i put oh all the things because i was trying to catch up on my goals i loved listening to quarter past midnight by bastille I was binge watching Agents of Shield and Scandal. I was eating Zerates and Chicken Katsu Local Mogul because we had that MOA and it was so good. We were trying to plan trips for fall, but obviously they didn't happen. Um, I loved traveling with Matt for a Maori adventure and feeling putting new energy into my blog and my YouTube. It was good. So, yes. And laughing at our friends for fun fetty cake. Um, so this was the Creating Co monthly overview kit. It was also readathon month. So yes, uh, there was a bunch of good bad stuff. So this was the month that Kate Spade died and Anthony Bourdain died. Um, Matt and I's one year. Um, we went to Adam and Alex's wedding. Uh, my nephew had his scout graduation. That was all. Oh, and we went to break out Waikiki again. So exciting. So, yes, yeah, so this was readathon week. I tried to read a ton of books Revenge Wars Pada, Wicked Deep, Alice in Wonderland, and Starry Eyes. I think. I read oh and shark bait so I might have finished four books in total this week maybe um, yeah that was a good week um, this was Adam and Alex's wedding I didn't use my planner for a good chunk of this week and then just memory planned Friday through Sunday because Friday night we left for Maui it took us forever to get at the car rental place um so we just ended up dinner at 
eating at a place called Poi by the Pound. Then we stayed in. Um, in the morning we got up super early because I wanted to hit up Komodo Bakery for their cream puffs. Then we went to the Lavender Farm, um, went to the wedding, stopped at Shops at Wailea on the way back, went to Tosaka Goody Goody, and had a chill night at the pool and the bar over there. In the morning we went to service and see my friend, stopped at Point by the Pound that day because apparently it was also Father's Day weekend, which I kind of forgot and didn't get my parents anything, my dad anything, oh no, he got his books, um, and a card. And then, so my camera super rudely cut me off again, but as I was saying, this was the weekend we, on Sunday we had left Maui to head back home for real life. Um, this was a Planner Girl kit by um, Soda Pop Studios. It was another like A5 personal kit that I kind of just made work. Uh, oh, this was when my mom was buying uncle's ice cream sandwiches, which were so good, which we tried at the Spam Jam. Um, I don't know. Oh, we went to Breakout Waikiki and did the stock exchange. Um, Breakout Waikiki is currently in the process of moving or something. Um, I organized my TBR pile. There was rain. Filming. Yeah. This was a pool kit by Creating & Co. Super cute. I love this pool scene over here. But yeah, boring stuff. I don't even know what I was trying to keep track of over here. I'm so confused. Oh, this was the scary day at work, which I was kind of weirded out by. Um, but yeah, I, I just had a lot of boring days. Oh, Matt and I went to the Museum of Aloha this day. That was fun. And picked up milk tea from high tea before hanging out with his friends and Kylie's graduation party. So fun. Um, this monthly overview notes page was from Creating and Co. I read Amy Teen's book, no ebook, No Day Like Today. Um, always and for Laura Jean. I was binge watching Quantico. Quantico. There was a Harry Potter marathon. Um, yeah. So this is the overview. She did an another ocean nautical theme, which I thought this was super cute. Yeah, it was just fun. This was her 4th of July theme, which has a little bit of foil in it. Um, we, Matt and I watched The Incredible Twos on 4th of July. I binge watched Mindhunter. I read No Day Like Today, like, almost in one day. Uh, what else is this? We went to the Mo'ili Ili Bone Dance and they had takoyaki, which was lovely. Um, uh, stayed here. Um, Matt came with me to the Mo'ili Ili Bone Dance again this day. Oh, and then we had some Hawaiian pie stuff because his friend works there. So yay, yummy. This was a carnival kit from Shop Jessica Hearts. We were supposed to go to the carnival this weekend, but after there, I got distracted by watching Harry Potter. So that happened and that was a major thing. And then I also, we also watched Ant-Man and Wasp this day. So there was a lot of binge watching, but I love this kit and it was very soft. I love the colors and it reminds me of the carnival, which I kind of wish we went to. 
Um, this was a kit from Planner Kate, which I'm glad I used. It was very beautiful. What did we do? I had a meeting this day, so then JJ Dolan's and Dip Cones. I bought books. The Boys Back. Why did I watch The Staircase? Oh, I was supposed to go for Relay for Life, but I think I was feeling a little bit sick from my auntie's surprise party, which we went to. Might have been the Dole Whip. Don't know, but this place that we went to is now shut down, which is kind of sad. Um, and then I had a headache this day also. Okay. Um, this was a kit for Shark Week, which I was supposed to watch, but didn't watch. Okay, so I cleared off some space off my camera. So yes, this is, uh, I don't know where I was. This was a kit by Let's Make It Sparkle for Shark Week, which I didn't really end up watching Shark Week. But yes, I wanted to note it and use it um, at one point. So I did. And I used it. And this was a cute kit. So yeah, next. On that, it was also a horizontal kit. Next, um, this note page, it's from Pretty on Paper Co. I loved how it's set up. And the cactuses, which folds into why I bought the note page kit uh, monthly overview kit from her also kind of sad that she doesn't have a whole lot of um, date cover-up boxes but yes love this kit super cute with the cactuses there was weird times during this um this is a pirate kit from exo mama plans which I used I also used some other boxes I don't think there was a whole lot to this kit because I think it was just like a two-page kit um, made for personal planners. So yeah, just made it work. This was Comic-Con weekend. I tried to hand letter a few things. So yes, there was that. This was a mermaid kit from Scribble Pens Co., which is super cute. Matt's morning show premiered this day. There was free breakfast. I binge watched Ghostbusters, the cartoon a lot, hate bills, boring stuff. Um, this was TBR Throwdown Week for August for Creator and Co. So I tried to read The Little Prince, Confessions of a Hater, Lovely Bones, Wonder Woman again on the TBR list, and Old Man and the Sea. I think I only like finished three books, which was sad and things this was a day off so i went to the made in hawaii festival with my mom we went to the bone dance and yeah more cleaning and stuff this was like planner girl week this was the combined kit um collab between creating and co and pretty on paper co they did a kit together and you could get it in the, either one of their styles i think i picked it in creating and co because I like a couple of her icons a little bit better, which is super cute. Um, it was supposed to be amazing Comic Con Aloha, but I think there was Hurricane Lane prep this week, scare this weekend, so that didn't cancel. My parents were also supposed to go on their vacation and that got canceled because the hurricane. So I just hung out and read a lot and binged to watch a lot of TV. I think to all the boys I've ever loved um, premiered one of these days. Oh, this day because I watched Happy Time Murders on this day and then I watched it again. So yay. There was that. This was Harry Potter House Week because the train leaves on the 1st of September. Hello. Zoom you out just a bit. So this was a kit by Creating and Co. Very cute. Very loved. I love how the, there's the coach in this kit even though you can't really see it. It's very subtle. The Whomping Willow. The Planner. I picked the Gryffindor kit because I feel like I'm a Gryffindor, even though we're not sure if I am. But like Matt says, the house takes into account what you want. 
so we'll go with that. I also had to makeshift my notes page kit for October because I chose to do the Scroll Prince Co. Um, monthly kit because it was Harry Potter Gryffindors, Harry Potter themed house, Hogwarts houses united. I thought these bows were super cute. It wasn't as full. Um, I love these box cover ups. Thought that was cute. Make it work. Make it work. Um, this is a super old kit from Creating Co. Make Waves. Yeah, there was a lot of sleeping. I think it was another day when I was feeling sick. I got my hair cut this day. Um, this was the Scribble Prince Co. Labyrinth kit, which I used because my friend got married this day, even though we weren't didn't get to go to the wedding. Um, yeah, I passed my six months probation there. I finished reading Girl Wash Your Face. I watched Predator. Yeah, September 11th was here. Fun times. Um, this was another kit by Exo Mama Plans. I think this was her coffee kit because it says put your plans into action. So gold, love, super fun. This was the last days at Wailana's. Yeah. We went to a first birthday party. Yay. Um... Oh, this was an old Creating & Co. kit, which I got in the horizontal. Yes, I got it in the horizontal, but I thought it was super cute, and I thought it would work with my A5, and now I'm no longer using an A5. So, yes, this was like Girl Boss Planner kit, but as you can see, I've just mostly been planning the end of the weeks really hard. Um, I tried to print photos here. That didn't work out. I had a cap meeting, and we talk about... Um, Dr. Ford testifying here. Um, I won a book from Goodreads, which showed up shortly. Um, and yeah, that happened. Um, this was another makeshift notes page because I picked up the Hocus Pocus kit from Scribble Prince Co., which I love that she included Banks, the Sanderson sisters, and the feet from their cave. Super cute. But also made it planner girl this was another scroll of prince co kit this was for mean girls i tried to include all the girls in the full boxes so that was fun as well as the burn book just a fun lovely week and i did get a few of creating and co's character xo so i included him um and there was the aloha for planners meetup which we talked a lot about gossip and i went to holly eva joe's for matt's mom's birthday when she was in town. This was the Creating a Co. RIP Readathon week. Um, we went to Piggy Smalls. I made a fuss. We went to see A Star is Born. I got um, 96 words of love in the mail from Goodreads. Um, I, my friend came to visit with her son, so we had lunch at Hot Tacos. What else? There was lots of reading, lots of reading. I think I tried to read Heartless. What was the other book? Caraval, Spellbook of the Lost and Found, Midnight Crossroad, and Discovery of Witches was supposed to be a reread, which I never got to. Mm, yeah, fun times. Uh, this was a kind of a Halloween spread. Makeshift Halloween spread from creating, I used parts from Creating and Co. I gotten a bunch of her extras last year. This was an extra from last year's kid. And then I had leftovers from the RIP Readathon week. So, yeah. Um, we went to OMG Oahu Mexican Grill this day in Waikiki. I went to Sephora and got some stuff. I had, we had a work thing over here. Um, I started watching A Million Little Things. We went to Jose's Mexican Cantina. 
yes we went to jose's mexican cantina because this was matt's birthday my auntie also passed away this day we were playing gizmos and then for matt's birthday he had a super hipster birthday we went to brunch at arbo's we went to the farmer's market and had ulu chips um there was a little bit of starbucks we picked up stuff at box lunch for his birthday we went to 99 ranch market to see my friend and have crafty time uh we had teddy's bigger burger for lunch and then i came home and tried to work out and then he had more fun with his friends um this week i tried to use the cre no scribble prince co hocus pocus kits yeah we saw the rocky horror picture show this week i was binge watching things oh oh my friend called with her baby news which is why baby feet are there there was haunted house this weekend and yeah my parents were out of town again so i was chilling that's why there's a little more filled in yay um the, this monthly overview is monthly notes page is from shop jessica hearts we were talking about the okinawa trip finances crimes of grindelwald spellbook of the lost and found 96 words of love fantastic beast and love does haunted to look forward to you um things to remember you deserve the life you want and all the love in the world oh i don't know why it says claims to have gotten up to 116 so this is the monthly overview from shop jessica hearts i love that it's all fall i hardly ever get fall in hawaii but yes it was lovely um this was the leftovers from the uh, scribble prints co kit just makeshifting and using up stickers um i was trying to journal so i had done a like bullety journal setup oh uh this was my birthday week weekend so i used this holographic sticker from a uh, foil sticker from my newest addiction and the justinia lab principal we went and saw ready player one with my friends or watch the video um matt and i went to vote there was chocolate cake um what else did we do we went to y kelly for a thing we had Yankee sushi went to Con honolulu cookie company for a dip we played games at baby we went to ruby tuesdays I read, I slept in, we had face mask, I binge watched the things, ooh, it was fun. It was fun. This was uh, Creating and Co's old kit called Houses United, which I used because I had wanted to do a house, what did I call it? Kind of like theme spread for uh oh harry potter theme month using all those kits but didn't really happen but this part turned out cute with all the full boxes mushed together um yeah it's just a boring week yeah oh matt did clean his car so that counts for something uh, so yes, this is another kit. I I forget where this kit is from. But yes, I did it in honor of Fantastic Beasts, which is lovely. So yes, there was a craft fair. I bought Crimes, the Crimes of Grindelwald book came out this day as well as the movie. So yes, bought that. Uh, it was Gabriel's birthday party. So and the book club was announced this day so yay oh and my auntie's funeral was this day so there's that this is the thanksgiving kit by shop jessica hearts i thought this girl was cute which is probably why i used her twice and it's a thanks and it was really simple and fun um
Oh, I went to a craft fair. Thanksgiving was this day, but then I had to work. Did I work? No, I think I took the day off. I don't remember. No. But then we went to a craft fair on Saturday. And yeah, it was fun. This was a GP Sticker Studios kit, um, which I used up. I started my date countdowns, which I got. Went to the library a lot. We finally watched Crimes of Grindelwald here. I had a juniper latte. My native shoes order came in. Um, yeah. Oh, I had the first Christmas party here. I um, made my mom get her donut. Rave donuts. That was fun. Oh, we're gonna pull out this bookmark. Um, and the end of this planner was kind of lacking. I was terrible at planning in this, but I'm still gonna show you the spreads. This, I decided to finish the year with Caress Press because that's how I started the year, and I also thought, because a ton of people did this artwork, but I wanted to use it from Crest Press. It seemed like a good way to end the year. So this is the month. Um, this was a reading kit from Pretty on Paper Co. Loved it because it was, I decided to do the Tis the Seize the Thon Read a Thon, which there's also a video on. So you can watch that. I'll try and remember to link it in the cards above. Um, this was a planner cake kit, tons of shopping. Uh, I think this was a Kinley Doodles monthly kit, which I just used a bunch of boxes and stuff that I never got around to using. I got my first Munchkin order. Or what's more with... I don't even know. But I finally ordered some, so that was exciting. Um, This was a super old Creating & Co. kit. We used some super cute things. And the last of this is this week that I'm filming, which I didn't fill in. Maybe I'll fill in. I don't know. Um, but this kit is from Caress Press. I think it's super cute. This week has been crazy. But yeah, also on my notes pages, I have a two-week saving challenge, which I got from Pretty on Paper Girl. I think she still has this in the shop. I stopped at some point. I can't remember why I stopped, but it did work out all for the better. This is my reading um, notes page from Pretty on Paper Co., which I believe she still has this in the shop. Um, I wish I would have gotten the bigger bookcase for it, but this is before she released the bigger bookcase, but it all worked out. And yeah, I just have a few things in the Enchantathon. Uh, Thing in the back. I have some stickers back here which I need to hurry up and pull out the end and the last pages. So yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed the flip through of my 2018 planner and yeah, that is about it. I'm going to go finish this the last spread in here before I wind this up and put it away. But yeah, we'll cut to the end card now. I hope that you guys enjoyed seeing the flip through of my 2018 planner and that it was really enjoyable for you to see all the spreads that I did and how I used the recollections planner and some of the shops that I did love. Uh, if you didn't see the video where I talk about my 2019 planner, which is the Hobonichi Cousin, I will try and link it in the cards above, but yes. I'm using the Hobonichi Cousin. I'm going to try and journal and maybe I will do a flip through at the end of the year um, for how I use that. Hopefully I'll be able to also do a few plan with me. So look forward to that and I will see you guys in another video. Bye!